hello everybody. So as you know, my name is Mr. Jalo, and welcome back to the series of uh, exercises or review lessons to help you revise your examination, meaning the baccalaureate this year. So today, uh, I'm going to start with the asking questions, how to ask a question in English. So that's the first uh, review that you're going to see today. Uh, I'll mention it on the top here, asking questions. Asking questions. So as you know, we have two kinds of questions. So yes or no question and uh, asking question with a question word. But today, I just try to focus on the asking question using the question words. And number one here, we have um, W H questions. WH question meaning what? Meaning uh, questions that you use is starting with a question word. And they have W, H plus something. So in the list, we can have something like uh, what, something like who, something like uh, why, something like when, all right, where, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can also have which, which is not very important. So I give you this kind of dialogue between A and B. When you have this, I live in, uh, let's say, Dakar. And I underline the word Dakar. And I ask you to ask a question. The one that poses the question, dont la réponse sera le mot souligné. All right? Maintenant, quel est le mot interrogatif qu'il faut utiliser ici pour poser une question dont la réponse sera Earlier, all right? So, what is the question between the dialogue between A and B? Now you see on dialogue entre A and B. I live in Dakar. So what is, uh, après, il faut trouver le mot interrogatif et ensuite uh, conjuguer uh, la phrase autant qu'il faut, dépendant, par exemple, de, of the answer that you have here. I live in Dakar, meaning that you have here a simple, a simple present tense. And now, what is the question that we should have here? The question word is where. Donc on utilise where pour poser une question concernant le, le lieu. And now the tense here is a simple present. And you going to have where do you live. Where do you live plus the, plus the question mark. This is just where is used to ask a question for, for the place. Now, second uh, sentence, I give you the A. And there you have B. Uh, and I give you this. It takes, it takes me 25 minutes to go to school. To go to school. Uh, you see, I was just 25 minutes. And we don't want the present question, but the response will be. 25 minutes. So, quel est le mot interrogatif qu'il faut utiliser ensuite? Uh, quel est le temps du verbe? So, this is very important. So, when you have this, uh, la durée, the question word that we use is how long? How long? In two words. On a le mot interrogatif, how long? This is la forme interrogative de la phrase that we have here. Mais là, le mot souligné ne revient pas dans la, dans la question. Hein? Of course, so we have how long does it take to go to school? La reste ne change pas. This is now the question. This is now the question. The question, uh, the question mark. This is just a list. We use what? For object or things, who, for people, a person, or something like this, why to give reason, uh, which is why, pourquoi, when you see an example with why, uh, A and B. You see, the answer sera something like because, because I like sports. Et on vous demande ici 
the podium question de la réponse sera because I like sports. Mais ici, on a une raison, la raison pour laquelle the question we have is have a dust. We have why. Maintenant, le temps, c'est toujours le présent simple. Why do you watch TV? You can add every day. And the answer ici, la réponse sera l'explication ici, la raison, pourquoi. Donc, on utilise pour le mot interrogatif sera ici, sera why, etc., etc. La liste, la liste est longue. Maintenant, we we'll go to the second point, number two. All right. How, et là, c'est plus compliqué, how questioned. How questioned. What are the lists? The lists we have here, how questions we have, how, how far, how deep, how something like this, old, all right, uh, something like uh, how often, etc., etc. Now, if I give you this, Uh, something like how far? Contest can you use how far? I give you the dialogue here between A and B. A and B. They say Dakar is 70 kilometers from, let's say, uh, chess. Elle est underline here, 70 km. On vous demande de poser la question. Donc, la réponse sera 70 km ici. Quelle est la question qu'il faut poser et quel est le mot interrogatif qu'il faut utiliser et euh, poser une question avec le temps that we have here. So, we will use how far. On va utiliser how far. Donc, on aura how far is, let's say, Dakar from from chess. That's not the question, the question mark. These are this, uh, a list of question uh, words that we use at the examination that is possible. Now, if I give you this, A, B, and I give you uh, my brother, like this, was 50 when when he died when he died in 20 let's say 2010 et on souligne ici 50 on me demande de poser la question dont la réponse sera le mot souligné you gotta be very 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 careful then maintenant la question sera avec quel mot interrogatif commençant par how In this list. So, on l'a pas ici, mais on cherche comment poser une question de la réponse sera l'âge d'une personne. In English, we have how old. How old. Donc, on utilise how old pour poser une question concernant l'âge de, de la personne. Donc, we gotta have here how old was your brother. Your brother, etc. When he, when he dies, how old was your brother when he died? So we have how old, how long, etc. Now, something else that you may have uh, at the examination, I don't know, and one never knows. I give you the sentence. 